Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here with another game of Total War Warhammer. Quick match gameplay, this time around playing as the Dwarves against the Wood Elves led by Inski Cat on Matt Pillar of Bone. Uh, so the battle starts immediately, um, because we both did so much trollish builds. Um, so I, I was playing as Dwarves and I'm like, I was thinking uh, what, I, what I could do that um, to catch the Elves by surprise and uh, do something unconventional, because I figured they would expect the sort of usual box in a corner strat with artillery. Uh, that is a pretty common dwarf counter to elves, I guess. So instead I did I did run a lord, my only non- and I did a complete vanguard deploy army. Uh, my front line is a uh, mix of miners and miners with blasting charges. Um, Simply because they can vanguard deploy in their melee infantry, and the reason I brought a few miners with blasting charges is because blasting charges actually perform really well against wood elves, and I was hoping my enemy would run a more conventional uh, elven build. Um, so that's why I brought the blasting charges. Then on the and over here on the right hand flank, I do have the Ekrand miners, who are of course the regiment of renown, and they do get some additional ammo for their blasting charges, which is a pretty big boost. And of course they have frenzy and um, better combat stats in general. And then over here, right next to them, Norglimming Ironbreakers. So I definitely overloaded the right flank pretty heavily. Norglimming Ironbreakers, very tanky, very high armor, um, 120, and uh, still have those blasting charges, stronger ones than what the normal elves have, than what the uh, normal miners have, and um, yeah, immunity psychology, and they vanguard deploy, which is a nice little boost, and uh, charge defense against all. And then from behind them, I have a mix of Rangers with Great Weapons and uh, Ulthar's Raiders. These are just there to de help me deal with large units because I don't really have much to deal with, say, Treekin or Treemen. Uh, efficiently, because the rest of this is just regular rangers, and all of rangers, of course, do have the mark, mark of Ulthar, which will make people go, uh, or enemy units go down even quicker. And then behind that, I have six units of uh, normal rangers. Now, rangers um, have vanguard, they have stock, they're pretty quick for dwarves, speed 34 is not bad, it's almost comparable to el elf infantry. And uh, they do still have shields, so they actually trade pretty effectively against enemy uh, archers. They're not as good as, say, corals because they don't have armor, but um, that, uh, or not as much armor. But that those uh, bronze shields uh, are definitely very solid, and I think that possibly until the um, dark elf uh, archers or uh, crossbows come in, these guys are probably the second most effective anti. Uh, or well, they're probably they're definitely one of the more most effective anti uh, skirmisher skirmishers in the game. Um, and then behind them, uh, plus they can kind of ambush the skirmishers. Your opponent can't just maneuver around them. Um, then I have two. Then I back here the dwarf lord. I have of course goblobber. Uh, coming in to just drop some uh, morale penalties, try to break those elves a little quicker, and um, I figured that by applying all this pressure on my opponent's front line, he wouldn't really be able to respond in time. And I do have two units of gyrocopters. Normally these are pretty susceptible to elven ranged fire, but I figured that in support of this sort of army, I could bomb the elves and um, deal with some of their squishy infantry pretty effectively, because they do have this, those steam guns. Um, so yeah. Now my opponent basically did a completely, well not basically, he did do his entirely skirmish build. Now interesting enough, rather than bringing Glady, Glady um, you know if it was, it was a Glady on a, a horse, I believe this, this is a horse or is it a, is it a unicorn? I can't tell it. No, it is a horse, okay. So, um, he brought a Glade Lord, which is interesting, because that is the melee version of variant of the Lord, but he, the only real difference between him and the Glade is that instead of getting prey of Arrows of Kurnus and Prey of Anathrema, he gets the Call of the Woods, which in my opinion makes this probably the worst Lord possible. I think a Glade would have been a much better choice here, but um, he is definitely very cheap, and that is probably what my opponent was trying to go for, for there. And then the front line is a mix of um, Glade Guard with Hagbane tips, uh, four of them, and then... Six units of Star Glade Guard with Starfire Shafts. Um, the Starfires, of course, do have armor piercing but then fire damage, but they also do magic, which means that they're going to be that damage is going to be mitigated by 25%. And the Hagbanes do have poison, so they will slow my infantry down, but once again, magic damage, which means it's going to be, be reduced even against the unshielded uh, miners. They're going to do less damage. And out on the flank is uh, definitely my opponent's uh, main killing or force of. Four, four men unit or four units of uh, way watchers. And these guys do have armor piercing. They have bonus damage when they're far away from their opponents, um, and uh, they, they're just a very, very powerful unit. So starting things that I hear uh, immediately, you can see these units of miners are getting absolutely annihilated. This unit's already down, waver, sh wavering within the opening volleys, uh, and my. Uh, the quarrelers or my rangers are immediately opening fire as well. You can see I'm trying to split the fire up. I'm trying to get focus fire from. Um, these these three units here on uh, this these units in the center and then these units out here on the right flank against the hagbanes um, and just trying to 
maximize uh, my damage out. But now you can see these miners are getting torn apart. They're wavering. They're going to break before they manage to get their charges off, uh, which is unfortunate. But in the meantime, my um, rangers are by and large getting quite a bit of da work done. The axe throwers, of course, doing a lot of work uh, at this range. And I do believe I dropped the mark for Lothar, one of these guys. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I actually didn't. But regardless, you can see some of the gladiators have already broken there on the on the retreat. Um, and now the gyrocopters are coming in. The gyrocopters are going to perform very well as long as they don't get shot down by uh, the elves. Now, now these rangers are in a lot of trouble and they're wavering. So sending my lord in just to try to zone away these waywatchers. And the waywatchers are very dangerous to the lords because uh, they do have that so much armor piercing and raw damage output. Now the rangers with great weapons are very susceptible to elven arrow fire, and you can see that we're going down right here. Uh, they have practically no armor and they have no shields, so. Um, well, good against, say, large units, they're not going to perform very well against, at all against Waywatchers, and they're just falling apart. Oh, there we go, there's my mark by Ulthar going down on these Waywatchers, just trying to get this unit of uh, veteran Waywatchers off the field as quickly as I can, uh, focusing them down with all those Rangers. As you can see, they're wavering for fall apart. But the, here you can see these guys with their shields are actually holding up, not amazingly well, but they are holding up good, but given that they're under fire from four units of Waywatchers, it's a pretty impressive uh, amount of tankiness they've got going. Uh, these uh, rangers with weapons have already fallen apart, but the Ulthar's rangers are pushing forward. They are coming under some crossfires and the starfires. What I'm doing here is trying to sh shift the Grimlings into position to shoot, uh, shoot at them or lob uh, blasting charges at them. Uh, because those blasting charges will do a lot of work to the squishy elven infantry. And now the steam guns, of course, you can see just ripping through these elven lines. Uh, satchel charges going down. Um, and the Goblobber is now opening fire as well, just trying to demoralize my opponent and make him rout. Now the Lord over here is pursuing him a little too far. I can't really afford to chase him. The uh, Waywatchers actually do have 42 speed, so even, even when they're a little tired, they're going to be pretty hard to catch. Uh, so I'm going to pull my Lord back shortly. Uh, he's losing a lot of HP, and I definitely don't want to be losing him anytime soon. Now, um, for most part, my Rangers are pretty healthy. Um, or I still have three healthy units of Rangers, I guess is a more accurate statement. Um, and uh, the rest of the Rangers, are uh, they have roughly half their models, uh, give or take. So lords are retreating. Uh, in the meantime, my miners, the Ekron miners over here, are pursuing these uh, glade guards, trying to drive them off. And um, the glade guard with hagbane tips aren't going to do too much to the miners. They they can hurt them a bit, uh, but uh, besides slowing them, the miners do have 80 armor, so they're still going to be very resilient. Over here, these miners with blasting cartridges do get picked apart, and I think the definitely big problem with bringing uh, glade guard is that they can't shoot fr uh, in all directions. So, and I think. I actually managed to hit the Glade Lord there with the uh, tre with the not trebuchet the Goblobber. but one of the big problems with Glade Guards is they can't shoot while they're moving uh, while they're uh, moving away from a target, and that means that uh, my opponent isn't really able to keep his DPS going against me uh, at all times. Now over here, my Lord is falling back and he's in a lot of hurt. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh, my Ulthar's Raiders are getting picked apart very very heavily, uh, but now at this point, my opponent's army is practically breaking. Um, <laughs> that's the end of the game there. So this is not so much a serious, uh, I guess, video. It's more like a silly. Uh, this is a silly game to just kind of show a ridiculous build on both sides. Um, I definitely think that if you're going for archer spam as wood elves, it's better to go off with straightway watchers against dwarves um, and support them with some actual infantry, uh, like armor piercing infantry, like um, rangers with great weapons, or, um, or sorry, not rangers, wildwood rangers, or um, eternal guard, I think are good support tools for an uh, archer spam. Uh, rather than just a, a bunch of glade guard, the glade guard because they do have because the glade guard can only fire in a forward arc. Um, they're very limited in their uh, once you start pushing up on them with infantry. After getting those first few volleys off and practically annihilating some miners, my opponent really just wasn't able to put to uh, keep shooting because my miner I had enough infantry to sp uh, spread out and go after each of his units, so none of his units were really able to stop and keep shooting for very long. And um, it just meant they were getting torn apart. Um, a lot of damage coming in from the gyrocopters. Uh, the steam guns are absolutely amazing, as as the goblobber. Uh, the rangers, by and large, spent most of the game just trying to destroy the um, um, waywatchers, which is actually pretty favorable for matchup. From waywatchers, if microed correctly, can actually take apart two units of crawlers um, single-handedly. Uh, so there definitely is a micro aspect to it that you can abuse with, with Waywatchers. They're very much capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with um, the dwarf in, uh, the dwarf range skirmish units uh, in a cost-effective manner, despite uh, having um, if you micro correctly. But uh, that that just but um, I had a lot of Rangers and it was very and the, the Wade Watchers stayed still for too long and uh, got picked apart. Um, gyrocopters, of course, yeah, had a lot of work and the plastic charges on the Eagern Mine just tore through the uh, poor wolf. Uh, glade guard, but a very fun game. Uh, Getting to my opponent, interesting pick with the glade lord. Uh, as you can see, the wave watchers do an absolute immense amount of work, despite being shut down fairly effectively, in my opinion. Um, they just tore through my units. Uh, they are very strong anti-dwarf 
uh, unit to bring. Um, so yeah, definitely good game time everyone. I do hope you guys enjoy this game. Uh, nothing too serious, a bit of silly, lighthearted stuff for once. Um, Kedansky uh, Cat. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. If you have any comments, criticism, any ideas on how I can improve my uh, game or gameplay or videos or that sort of stuff, or any questions about Quick Match or campaign or whatever in general, be sure to post those down in the comments, uh, and I'll respond as soon as I can. Uh, as usual, I appreciate you all for watching, and whatever now.